What's the best way to brew Japanese green tea? We wanted to test out four different ways to brew green tea to see which one worked best. First, we will try the most basic method, a strainer. Then we will use the gravity brewer and also a gaiwan, a brewing vessel normally used for Chinese and Taiwanese teas. Finally, we will test out the Japanese Kyusu teapot, specifically designed to brew Japanese green teas like Sencha and Gyokuro. For this experiment, we're going to use the Gyokuro Sasahime from Mr. Sakamoto. Because this is a blend of three different tea cultivars, there is a complex flavor profile to this tea. This means that it will be easy to compare the different flavor profiles produced by each brewing method as they could go in completely different directions. Gyokuro is also incredibly sensitive when it comes to brewing, so it will be easy to see which method, if any, is unsuited to brewing this tea. For this experiment, I will be using 5 grams of leaves for each method. I was considering controlling the amount of water used, but I considered this as part of the brewing method. For example, part of the experience when it comes to using a gaiwan is that you use a very short steeping time and a high leaf to water ratio. I wanted to compare that to the other methods of brewing tea. First, let's start with the strainer. This is one of the cheapest and most accessible brewing devices. You should be able to find it for just a few dollars online. I put the strainer into the cup and poured in the 5 grams of leaves. I then added 60 degrees Celsius water and let the tea brew for 2 minutes, a standard time for gyokuro. After the time was up, I removed the strainer and took a sip of the tea. I found that the flavor was actually quite weak, with a tiny bit of astringency. The flavor of the tea is weak because the leaves are so cramped inside the strainer, they are actually unable to open up fully and release their flavor into the water. As you can see here, the leaves are packed together and they had plenty of potential that went unused. Poor leaves never had a chance. Side note, if you end up going for the strainer, you may want to use one with smaller holes as there can be sediments that make it through the strainer and continue to brew over time in the water, making the tea more bitter. Next up is the gravity brewer. This is a relatively new invention and many have touted it as having the convenience of a strainer but with better performance. To put this to the test, I added the 5 grams of leaves and then poured in the same temperature water. I let the leaves sit for 2 minutes and as you can see it's already a big improvement to the strainer. The leaves are able to expand upwards and open more fully. When I poured the tea out, I noticed it had a little bit more of a cloudy color to it. You can see this when you compare it to the tea from the strainer. This is actually a sign of a sweeter or more creamy tea. The flavor was sweet with some fruity notes, but lacked the real power you may expect from a gyokuro. So far this was a clear improvement to the strainer, but I still think we can get more out of these leaves. Next up is the gaiwan. This is a very simple device made from a lid and a cup that separate the tea leaves. This is normally meant for larger leaf Chinese teas like oolong, but I wanted to see how it worked with this gyokuro. I used a short steeping time of about 10 seconds and a high leaf to water ratio. This is how someone that uses a gaiwan would be accustomed to preparing the tea. Even when I positioned the lid with a very small opening, I still got a lot of the smaller leaves into the cup. This was definitely not going to work. I drank the tea anyway and found that it was very overpowering on the savory and seaweed flavor. While a lot of gyokuro drinkers actually look for a little bit of this seaweed flavor, this was just too intense. The leaf particles left in the tea would also overbrew and make the tea more bitter over time. Finally was the Kyusu teapot. I didn't want to become too attached to this method during the test, but rather let the results speak for themselves. I added in the 5 grams of tea leaves and then poured in the same temperature water and let the tea brew for the same 2 minutes. I then poured the tea out into the cup and found immediately that the color was stronger, and when I took a sip, I got the full range of flavor profiles I expected from this tea. If done right, the sasahime should have a savory vegetable flavor, a light floral note, a fruitiness, a sweetness, a round creaminess, and a tiny hint of astringency. With the strainer, we got to experience this slight astringency, and with the gravity brewer, we got the round creaminess and the fruitiness. With the gaiwan, we had the strong savory flavor overpowering everything else. Finally, with the kyusu, we were able to enjoy the full dimension of this tea. The wider base of the teapot allows the leaves enough space to expand and fully release their flavors into the water, and the clay can even accentuate the savory flavors of the tea. Our final verdict is that the Kyusu teapot is the best way to prepare Japanese green tea, but there were some promising results from the other devices. The gravity brewer actually did quite well and the strainer performed okay. If you want to really experience the full spectrum of flavor profiles, you will really want to get a clay Kyusu teapot, but if you don't have one at home, that's no reason not to enjoy high quality tea. Use whatever you have at home to start separating the leaves from the water and start enjoying premium quality teas as soon as you can. Just know that the more space you can give to the leaves, the better the flavor will be. Even a French press can be a good way to brew tea if you don't have anything else. 
Just make sure you stay away from tea bags, as these are typically made from lower quality leaves crammed into paper or plastic bags with no space to expand. We hope you enjoyed this video and let us know which experiments you would like to see next. If you have any questions about green tea, please feel free to reach out to us, and if you would like to start trying some green teas, we have plenty of great samplers on our website, neoteas.com. We'll see you next time.